All right, Jack. Are you ready for it? No. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wait, can you pause the timer when you tell us? <laughs> <laughs> Our time is going away. Time is Liberty is a super diverse school. There's so many different cultures that you run into on a daily basis. You're exposed to like different backgrounds. Synaptic, yeah, synaptic membrane. I am Indian. I'm South Indian, uh, Tamil. My main interest is journalism. I'll just kind of repeat what I said before. So, um, basically, it's just a podcast on diversity in the school, broadcast journalism in particular. I'm um, first. I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself so you can just say, "Hi, I'm Sasha Chuprakova." That's how you say your last name, right? Sort of. How do you say it? Chuprakova. Chuprakova. I like digging in, trying to find new things to tell people about, like cultural diversity, which is what my podcast is about. One day after school, me and Mr. Higgins, my teacher, were talking about how we should probably start highlighting the cultural diversity we have on campus. He came up with the idea of starting podcasts. Yeah, I mean, I can't like tell you, hey, you should talk to so-and-so, so -and -so, but um, I'm always looking for different things we can do online. Um, I mean, there's so many avenues available for online journalism, whether it's traditional print text based to video to pictures. And one of the things I've seen on a couple sites, but not many sites do, are podcasts. And one day after school, Divya had stopped by. I think she's always had a good ability. I think she has a good voice. I think she can be a good storyteller. And I just asked, what about a podcast? And she said, What's a podcast? Hey there, Red Hawks. I'm Divya Morali, and this is the 16th episode of the United Colors of Liberty. And I'm here with junior Sasha Chuprakova. So, Sha Sasha, why don't, you introduce, why don't you introduce yourself? Well, my name is Sasha Chuprakova, obviously. Mm -hmm. And I'm a junior, and I'm in band and on the mock trial team, and I'm Russian. Russian. So, the topic is of this podcast is going to be about Russian culture and your heritage. So, how long have you been living in Frisco? After all this like Islamophobia happening, I realized that my friends were being like targeted and my parents, even though we're Hindu, they were exposed to xenophobic feeling. And so I kind of just wanted to get people's opinions on that sort of stuff happening. So I'm sure you've heard of the scandals with Russia involving President Trump and the election. How do your parents feel about it? How did they react? Neither of them are actual Russian hackers, but <laughs> just someone from our country where my parents were raised might have done something. It doesn't necessarily mean that like the whole country is suddenly corrupt. There's always going to be ethnocentric people in schools. At Liberty, I mean, I have encountered a few, uh, especially towards colored people. Like, you're, you're, you're brown. You, you, you're supposed to be smart. Bye. Bye. Like in most high school environments, stereotypes are the most racist things that you kind of encounter. I'd say it does go on in Liberty, but it's not as prominent as some other schools just because there's so many like different people here. So it's kind of something you get used to. And it's just you get like exposed to all these things at a young age, especially when you're going to their house, you eat their like their cultural food and um, it's just, like, throughout the years, I've picked up so many different friends, um, Asians, Caucasians, uh, African Americans, just, it's great living in Frisco, I guess. KERA's American Graduate Initiative, charting the journey from childhood to graduation, is made possible in part by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and the Meadows Foundation. Learn more about race, poverty, and the changing face of schools at kera.org schools.